So today, uh, replying to all the inquiries, keeping on top of all that, answering the phones, making sure that all the support emails that people have sent through, uh, asking inquiries and advice, that's all replied to. Um, I've obviously got my little boy today, so I've got to juggle that in between. And uh, yeah, just, you know, it's going to be drizzle outside, so it's probably not going to be as busy as it was at the beginning of the week because this business is very, very weather dependent. Find the MD in the lorry because it's all, all about hands on deck, and when we're obviously we're short staffed, um, you know, I'm pushing 60, and the, the, you know, 30 years ago, I was doing the same thing working all the hours under the sun, getting things up and running, thinking I'm heading towards an easier life, here I am at 60, back in the lorry. We, we all do a bit of everything at the minute, to be honest. <laughs> but Alf, you know, Alf will send the purchase orders, keep control of stock and, and uh, answer the phones, deal with all the lorry drives out on the road, any problems that they have delivering goods. Um, Rob's more focused on uh, all the online sales and online inquiries and booking in pallets and parcels and stuff. And um, yeah, my job is obviously sales, overseeing things, um, replying to inquiries, just keep on top of everything really. You know, I believe, you know, I fully believe in, in Ollie, you know, and Harry, still there in the background. You know, they've got the same vision as I had 15 years ago. So, you know, they know the potential of the business. So I've got, I've got no worries, you know, about, you know, letting them make their own decisions, which we've been doing for the last five years. And, you know, it's through Ollie's really creative mind and, and how he's progressed with all the social media and the IT side of the business. It, you know, it's basically bringing our growth to where we are today and where, where we will we'll be in five years time. The, these are these are our lists that we have to constantly rewrite, which we've done for years. So this will be three rounds, um, but at the minute, you know, when you're taking a call, you just pop it up on the list and rewrite things. But you know, that's got us to this point. But now it's just it's just it's not it's too much too much work to take on basically. So yeah, we've we've brought in a new logistics software. You'll be able to track your orders. You'll be able to reschedule your order. You'll be able to get updates. You know, once they do a delivery uh, delivery before yours. You'll get an update saying it's 10 minutes away, so it keeps our customers, um, keeps that customer experience, you know, there as well. Because we get a lot of calls saying, you know, do you know when my phone, do you know when my delivery is coming out? And you know, we're trying to cut the calls down, but also keep that customer experience, and that customer service level there that we've built so hard, you know, to to build over the last few years. You know, lucky enough, you know, they they're good boys and they they got a lot of ambition and a lot of drive. Um, I can only think, you know, they've, they've obviously got some of that from mum and dad, but <laughs> I don't know where their intelligence comes from. <laughs> it's probably funny to say, but they've been very entrepreneurial since they've been at school. You know, they had, they had our ideas completely separate to what, you know, I was doing. You know, doing their, doing their own thing, talking, you know, I remember Ollie initially, they, they was looking at um, importing boxing gloves. Um, so we all went, you know, that went right down to literally finding a supplier and sorting out the import laws and, uh, but you know, like all these things, it never quite come to, uh, you know, never quite happened. Uh, but yeah, no, 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 they, they would have found their, you know, their own way, whether they was with me or not. You know, I suppose to get on, if, you know, to, to do well, you know, have, have a good business, you know, you know, of course there's decisions and gambles, you know, you've got to take, like the old cliche, I've always, and it works for me, I've always followed my gut. If, if someone has asked me something, straight away, if I, if, I, if I get that tense feeling in my stomach, I know it ain't right. So sometimes that gut feeling works both ways. You, you'll get that, you know, tightening up when you, you, you don't think things are quite right, and then you'll obviously get that elated gut feeling if you like you know when you know it's the right decision and then sometimes it's in between where you know it's the right decision but it, you know it's a huge gamble moving forward but you you know you, you do you, you it's a calculated risk isn't it you know you, you, it's not a suicidal risk you don't jump in and you know uh, the, the whole risk the whole company going under but you know you're putting a company 
um, back under pressure. So basically we moved, when we were small loads, we, we moved from a profitable company to the new premises we're in and, took, um, and completely rebranded the company knowing it was going to put us under financial pressure for the next you know, two, three, four years. But it was a you know, decision we knew had to be made to get to the, you know, the bigger picture, basically. The biggest gamble I felt I really took was when, when we were small loads, we had a little yard out the back of Paddockwood down Willow Lane. And uh, it, it was, you know, it, it was working, but we, you know, we always knew for the, for the business to work properly, it had to be visible. It had to be up on one of the B roads or the A roads. And then basically we was going through a recession again, and a, a yard, a yard came up, um, the Stone Hill Yard just outside Paddock Wood. Uh, you know that that was probably the biggest risk I feel that we went from Willow Lane, you know, in a recession where things were tight, taking on massive overhead. Um, but again, standing in front of that gate of that new yard, my stomach in knots, knowing it was a decision that we, we, we had to take. Well, you know, a move we had to take. So I'd say that that was definitely probably the, the big one for me. And, and then it was probably more comfortable financial-wise moving from that yard to our current location, a three-acre yard. We knew we could financially support that. Um, but then the second to that is the rebrand. You know, you've got a good little company, small loads. Everyone, everyone knows the name. You know, why would you overnight change it, change everything? You know, paint the lorries, rename everything. You know, why would you do that? <laughs> you know, the reason being, you know, we we see the potential in the outdoor living market, if you like. You know, small loads was just too restrictive. You know, it was just limiting us to small loads of aggregates. You know, and people kept coming into the office on numerous occasions saying, didn't realise you'd done this, didn't realise you'd done that. So it was just it was just obvious that we needed to do it. You know, we could have tweaked the small loads name a little bit and just sort of ran with that. But, you know, we felt it just needed to be a name that didn't wasn't distinctive on any products. It ne needed just to be a brand. And that's exactly what um, you know. The boys have worked hard on, and all the team around us. You know, they've all they've all they all see and understand what we're trying to do and where we're going. You know, and everyone's fully on board, which is you know great.